Hello and welcome to Encore On Demand. My name is Mr. Luke and today we are going to be learning how to write a story. Now this might sound easy, but there's actually a lot more to it. And today I'm going to be showing you six important points to know about writing a story. Now let's learn those six points. I have them written here on this whiteboard. These are six important parts that you want to make sure that your story has. These are important to writing any story that makes good sense. So the first thing that you need to have are characters. Second, you want to look at what is the problem in the story. Then where does the story take place? And then what happens at the beginning of the story? What happens at the middle of the story? And what happens at the end of the story? Now, I'm going to show you a quick little play to demonstrate these six points. And this is something I'm going to demonstrate using two of my stuffed animal friends. Their names are Pete the monkey and Pangy the penguin. I hope that you enjoy Where Did the Bananas Go? Peggy, Peggy, you'll never believe what happened. What? What, Pete? What? What happened? Well, I, I was just, I was just about to go eat a banana, but then, but, but then what? There were no bananas. What? What do you mean there were no bananas? We just bought more at the store the other day. Oh uh, well, okay. So I checked the bedroom. Yeah. I checked the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. And I checked the bathroom too. Oh. What do you mean you check the bathroom? That's a weird place to look. But the bananas were nowhere, Penguin. Um, well, okay. Where was the last place you remembered having the bananas? Okay, okay. I was eating the bananas, and then they were all gone. Pete, did you eat all the bananas? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> oh, I can't believe it. I totally ate all the bananas. <sighs> Pete, why did you think that all the bananas disappeared? Uh, well, I just wanted to talk to you, Pangy. I haven't seen you in so long. <sighs> Do you want me to buy you more bananas? Yes, please buy me more bananas. Okay, let's go to the store. And that is the story. So first, we need to look at our board again. So, can you remember who the characters were in the story? Yeah, there were two characters. There was Pete the monkey, and there was Pengy the penguin. Now, what was the problem in the story. Can you remember? Yeah, Pete thought that all of the bananas were gone from the house and he could not find them anywhere. Now, where did the story take place? This one's a little bit tricky because I didn't have a big set around me somewhere to tell visually where the story was taking place. But while they were talking, Pete mentioned that he checked the whole house, the bedroom, the bathroom, and the kitchen for bananas. So we know that the story was taking place at the house where Pengy and Pete live. So then what happened at the beginning? Yeah, Pete ran in and was very frantic, even, about where all the bananas went to. He had no idea where all of them had gone. So he was asking Pengy where all the bananas went. What happened in the middle? 
That's when Pangi asked Pete about all the places where the bananas could be. And Pete told him where the bananas thought, where he thought the bananas could be in all the different rooms that he checked. And then what happened at the end? Pete realized, and Pangi helped him do that, where all the bananas were. He had eaten all of them. And so then Pangi and Pete decide to go to the grocery store together to buy some new bananas for Pete. So that is how you write a simple story, but you can also use that same method for writing a book or even a play. Like what I just did there was I did a play with two of my stuffed animals. You can also do the play with some friends and you can have a lot of different characters and you can have bigger problems. You can have lots of different locations and you can have a long beginning, a long middle and a long end. But it's really easy to follow stories that have a beginning, a middle and an end. So that is why it is one of the six key parts of a story. Remember, the six parts are characters, what is the problem in the story, and stories can have multiple problems too. If you want to write a book or a play that is a little bit longer than my short little silly play that I did with my stuffed animals, you can have multiple problems that need to be solved by the end. Then what happens, uh, where it happens, and what happens at the beginning, middle, and end of the stories. Now, another example that I want to talk to you about that you might be more familiar with is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. So, in Little Red Riding Hood, there are how many characters? There are four characters. There is Little Red Riding Hood, the little girl who is going to visit her grandmother's house. That is the second character. And who is following Little Red Riding Hood to her grandmother's house? It's the wolf. And then at the very end of the story, there is oftentimes a hunter who comes and saves Little Red Riding Hood from the wolf. Those are the four characters. And so because there are more characters, it can also be a little bit of a longer story because there are more people involved. Now, what is the problem in the story? There are actually multiple problems. First, a problem is that Little Red Riding Hood needs to go to her grandmother's house but she doesn't quite know which is the best way to go. She knows one way from what her mom told her, but she also can easily be tricked by the wolf to go a different way. So that's one problem. The second problem is that the wolf disguises himself as the grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood isn't quite sure if this is actually her grandmother, or if it's someone else when she finally comes to her grandmother's house. Those are two examples of problems in Little Red Riding Hood. I'm sure that you can think of more. Then, where does it take place? Little Red Riding Hood takes place in the forest at Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother's house. Then, what happens at the beginning? Little Red Riding Hood goes out on the road to go to her grandmother's house. And on the way, she meets the wolf. What happens in the middle? Little Red Riding Hood comes to her grandmother's house and meets the wolf who is disguised as her grandmother. And what happens at the end? The wolf eats Little Red Riding Hood and the hunter saves her. And that 
is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. See how that fairy tale follows these rules of having characters, having a problem, a place where everything happens, and a beginning, middle, and end. I just wanted to talk about that example at the end of this lesson to make sure that you see that it's not just stories that I can make up and you can make up that follow these six rules. It's also stories that all of us know, all of us love, and you can write a story just like that on your own. I hope that you enjoy writing a play, a book, a story, anything that you want using these six key points. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you later.